What's up guys, good morning. Saturday morning here in Japan. I just got back from the gym. This is my first like really serious workout back since I've been sick. As some of you may know, I had COVID a couple weeks ago and then I had influenza like two weeks after that. And then this week I got a sinus infection. So I have been going to the gym um, after my fever went down this week. However, I've been taking it a little bit easy. Um, anyways, I'm starting my cut today. I'm not that big, I'm about 194, around 194 pounds right now, six feet tall. Um, like I said, dude, like if you see my other video, I'm not obsessed with the gym, I'm not obsessed with lifting and working out, like my passion isn't talking about lifting all the time, however, a bunch of people are asking me like if I had a physique update or if I take progress pics and videos, which I actually don't, like I never take pictures or videos of myself, um, but I definitely should, like I've definitely been meaning uh, to start doing that so this is gonna be my peak bulk video I'm going to cut after this for I don't know however long it takes me to get to a spot where I feel comfortable with myself basically um, let's see I started my bulk in January of this year 2023 I was like 170 169 pounds and even then I had more body fat than I wanted to have but I was like fuck it I just want to get big so did a slow bulk nice slow bulk for the last eight months or so and now I am like 194 pounds so I gained like whatever like 25 pounds about but I definitely gained some fat um, and I'm gonna cut like I'm gonna cut hard as fuck like I know a lot of people would worry about being skinny which I mean hey dude me too I'm worried about being super skinny however I feel like six seven years ago when I started trying to take lifting seriously I bulked the wrong way for a long time and I put on more fat than I needed to but at the same time I never put on enough muscle so I was always kind of like I felt like I was always skinny fat for the last like six seven years and I know for a fact I can cut I know for a fact I can keep my muscle and I can cut I've done a bunch of mini cuts before so I'm gonna do that and do if I if it takes me getting skinny as a stick if it takes me looking like Justin Bieber I'm just gonna do it cuz as I said in the, as I said in a different video like I'm young I'm 27 I feel like I've spent many years having my face be puffy when I should have just said like fuck it like just cut all this shit out and start from square one like cut all the way down get shredded get skinny if I have to get skinny as fuck just get skinny and then go from there and do a nice slow bulk because now I've been like skinny fat and like had extra fluff on me but I didn't want to cut all the way because I was worried about being skinny for so many years and I feel like the average um like the normal advice you would get in the lifting scene or amongst like lifting youtubers they always say like if you're skinny fat always bulk first always bulk and then cut afterward but i think there's a lot to be said about having a slim face and just feeling good about yourself and you know being cut and you can get in this cycle like me where you're skinny fat and you have a little more fat than you need to but you're also you know not as muscular as you want to for a long time but i've at least for me personally, like I'm a hard gainer, I'm an ectomorph as you may call it. For me, bulking is a hundred times harder than cutting, like I can cut very easily. So I'm going to cut, I'm going to take advantage of my youth and my metabolism, I'm going to cut, I'm going to get shredded, I'm going to get skinny, maybe it'll take me down to getting, to getting down to like 170 pounds or something like that, and then I'll start bulking again, but right now I just want to be thin, I want to be lean, I'm sick of having this belly around, like... Like, I feel like, I mean, I feel like this is just me being hard on myself, but a lot of people, when they bulk, it seems like their fat goes everywhere in their body. Like, it goes to their muscles, it goes, or like, you know, around, like, their arms, their delts, their chest, their legs. My legs have always been bird legs, chicken legs, I swear to God. And then, like, the fat all goes directly right to my stomach, and it looks like I have a pot belly, or it looks like I'm pregnant, or it looks like, a, you know, like, I've got crazy-ass love handles, so anyways i'm gonna give you guys a little physique update this is the peak bulk i'm starting my cut today so i'm also after this i'm gonna do a little apartment tour so actually by the time this video is up you guys will probably see that apartment tour and i'm also going to do uh like Jap japanese grocery cutting grocery haul so you guys can see the type of shit that i eat on a cut what i use to stay lean here and get protein so yeah here you go i'm gonna do my little my little, my little poses for you. Time to do my little poses. I don't know how to pose, so I'm just gonna do the, whatever the hell I know how to do, so. Guys, 
this is your chance. Get your boners ready. Get your boners out. Get your baby oil out. Here we go. This is your shot right now. Get your screen recording ready. Let's take off the pump cover. See what's under there. Yes. So, let's see. As you can see, I have way more fat than I should have. If I had to guess, I'm probably like somewhere around 20%. 18, 19, 20% right now. When I started my bulk even, I was at like probably 12, 13%, which even like, yeah, like that's way more than I need. Like this time I want to get to 10% or lower, maybe 10% would be fine. I don't think I've been there in a really long time. So I'm going to go down to like 10% and see how I feel. Maybe I'll even do more, man. Also, I'm here in Japan. So like in Japan, the beauty standard and like the normal guy, like the hot, attractive manly dude even is like skinny as fuck like if even if it is a manly guy like a macho guy who has a lot of muscle that it's like the michael phelps body type like imagine like michael phelps or a swimmer as opposed to like somebody beefy and jacked and like you know with a whole bunch of bulk on a long time i was like i just didn't have any time with school and work and japanese practice and everything um so I didn't even do arms. I was like, dude, any arm training I get, I'm just gonna get it through compound movements or I'm gonna get it through my MMA training. Like I feel like train a little bit of arms doing grappling and shit like that, but I neglected them and they got super, super skinny and even still now, like I would say that my arms are definitely a weak point. Um, yeah, it was a dumbass idea to just stop training arms. Like the opposite of everybody else. Everybody else just wants to train arms only. Like, I don't know, man, I get sick of training arms. I didn't want to train arms, so. Yeah. See the back. This lighting is probably shit. Probably shit, but you can at least kind of see a little bit what's going on here. I feel like my back's at the wrong point. At my left leg is like a full inch almost longer than my right leg so I always stand like this and I injured my ankle really bad this is about to sound like all the excuses in the world not to train legs but I injured my left ankle really bad a couple years ago I also had really bad hips so I spent a long time just pushing through it pushing through the pain whenever I could and guys do not be like me do not push through the pain if you have an injury I actually didn't even go to physical therapy as long as I should have until I was set to leave physical therapy. I just stopped showing up like a dumbass. And now years later, every time I squat, I have serious hip pain and back pain. So I changed my leg routine into just like therapy and stretching and mobility and lightweight, um, just like really easy reps instead of doing super heavy weight because I was really messing up my back and my hips. So my legs have definitely suffered. But I mean, regardless, I've always had bird legs. I've always had chicken legs. If you guys think I'm a bitch because I have small legs, I mean, dude, anytime you feel shitty about your skinny leg genetics or your skinny calf genetics, just look at John Jones. Most badass fighter of all time has fucking bird legs, just like me. So anyways, nothing too crazy by any stretch of the imagination. I do train them, I do train them. Believe me, I do train them. Despite what the haters will say, my legs are actually decently strong. I feel like they're stronger than most people. Maybe I'll cut until the end of the year. I'll let you guys know how it is. My calories are currently like 3,700. On my bulk, I've been doing like 3,700 calories. And it's been a slow bulk, man. I bulked a couple years ago and I was doing 4,000. But I've been bulking on 3,700. I think I'm gonna drop them only down to like 3,000 and we'll see how that goes. And yeah, man. Um, right now I'm six feet, I'm about 192 pounds, and maybe about, you know, 18, 19% body fat if I had to guess. Maybe you guys think I'm wrong. Comment down below what body fat percentage you think I am. I currently don't have a way of calculating it, but that's just my guess. Um, and yeah, again, let's go. Here we are. Peace.